Welcome to Electron Line. Now, here's our second method of how to solve systems of linear equations. The method called substitution. And so what that means is we're going to solve one of the equations for a particular variable and then substitute that into the second equation. Now to illustrate that, we're going to do something that may not particularly make sense at this point, but it shows you a good illustration. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take our first equation and we're going to solve that equation for x. So when we do that, we have the equation y equals x plus 2, and that means I'm going to move the 2 to the other side, so I end up with y minus 2 is equal to x, or x equals y minus 2. And then we take that result and plug that into our second equation. So then it goes right in here. So now we take our second equation and we, re we rewrite our second equation. And by the way, why are we using this method? The method of substitution is really eliminating one of the two variables. We have two variables, x and y, and so the substitution method is meant to eliminate one of the variables so you only have one variable left in an equation. So here we write the second equation, y is equal to minus 2 times. Instead of x, we write what x is equal to, y minus 2 plus 8. And notice, now we have an equation with just one variable, which we know how to solve. So first we get rid of the parentheses, we get y is equal to minus 2y plus 4 plus 8. The minus 2y then moves to the other side because now we want to separate the variables from the numbers. So we get y plus 2y is equal to 4 plus 8, and this gives us 3y is equal to 12. And now when we divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient in front of the y, then we get y is equal to 4. So once we know what y is equal to, now what we do is we plug that back in to, and let me use a different color because then it's easier to see. Now we're going to plug this back into the first equation where we solved it for one of the variables. So now you can see that we take this and we come over here and we go x is equal to, but instead of writing y, we write what y is equal to. y is equal to 4, so here we write x equals 4 minus 2, or x is equal to 2. And this is how we find the two coordinates, the x and y coordinates, of the point where the two lines cross. And so the solution then is, the x and y coordinates of the point where they cross is x is equal to 2, and y is equal to 4. Of course, the same result that we got on the previous video when we used the graphical method. So again, the way this works, you have two equations, you take one of the two equations and you solve it for one of the variables. Now notice this is already solved for y, so we could have substituted y into here. But just to illustrate how it works in general, we take the first equation and solve it for one of the variables. We're going to solve it for x. So here we move the, uh, the 2 to the other side, we get y minus 2 equals x. And so we can isolate x, that's what we mean. Solving for means isolating x in terms of the other variable. Then, what we do is we take our second equation, and instead of plugging x, we plug in what x is equal to in terms of y. So here we have y equals minus 2, y equals minus 2 times x, but x is y minus 2, so we substitute that. Then we solve that equation for y. Once we have that, we substitute that value for y back into this first equation to get the value for x. And then we have the x and y coordinates, and that is the solution of our problem. And that is how it's done using the substitution method. Why don't you solve like that where the y is already solved? Well, we're going to show examples of that later on. We're going to do more examples later of these types of methods. That seems so obvious. Well, yes it does, but again, I want to take a simple example and show you the methodology, but later we'll show you some more complicated examples.